experienced a structural integrity issue, resulting in the immediate area being evacuated. In a statement released by Lloyd Company last night, they claimed the foundation beneath the shaft was compromised. But as of this morning, the company said that the issue was actually a product that failed, causing the tower to lean. Our Madison Newman explains what possibly caused the failure and if it could happen again. The problem that created the structural issue at the Block 5 project Thursday night has more to do with a product connecting the elevator shaft to the foundation than the foundation itself. Yeah, this is not a below ground issue. Uh, everything is really good. The team has done a great job getting the site ready. The water table we're dealing with here is something we deal with everywhere. Um, so that's not a concern at all. The foundation is actually, if we go over there, you know, it's, it's solid. Uh, this is something that happened with a product that sits between the foundation and the structure uh, that just failed at the exact wrong time during the construction sequence and, and led to this issue. While this event was a bit of a surprise, it is unlikely we will see something like this happen again as current products are being re-examined. However, buildings are expected to move a little bit. It's the range of movement that becomes an issue. The building code incorporates movement of structures into the core precepts of the design. And so uh, a component moving an inch should be anticipated in construction of a very large complex system. The problem is how fast it moves. If, that, if a, an inch of movement at the base that occurs over 40 or 60 days, we wouldn't bat an eye at because it's just kind of doing what we would expect. But if it moves that much in 40 seconds, momentum comes into play and that's what we're not, we, you know, we're not just, we're not prepared for. Kwasney said the teams will continue working to dismantle the compromised shaft and once that is done, the faulty product will be replaced and the tower will be rebuilt from scratch. When it is rebuilt, the tower will be inspected again by city officials. Uh, basically, you know, we're just we'll be waiting for uh, Lloyd's, Lloyd's and their engineers to determine what it was, and then basically we'll they'll put it back together. Maybe provide a revised plan of what they got to do. Well, we'll inspect whatever is reconstructed. The project has experienced a setback in construction. But Kwasney says in a few weeks, people will be able to look at the work that's been done and not be able to tell a difference. For Coda Territory News, I'm Madison Newman.